Steve King with 3M Communication Markets Division. I'm an Applications Engineer and I'm here to introduce uh, 3M's Mobility Solutions Tower Solutions Platform. Now, you, as you're probably aware, with the emergence of the data-intensive 3G and 4G services, we see considerably more drive towards tower-mounted electronics, specifically tower-mounted radio equipment. This is important for a couple of reasons, one of which is advanced antenna systems, such as MIMO or MIMO, which are required to achieve the signal noise ratio required to achieve the data rates that we are attempting to achieve. And just for your uh, information, for LTE, the uh, standard would be 100 megabits per second of data to a mobile user with one gigabit per second to a stationary user. So that sort of change has driven a paradigm shift in the way that the architecture at the tower has, uh, has evolved. So just beginning to uh, explain how this, how this is uh, handled in the tower infrastructure system, let me start with the cabling that now runs up to the tier where the remote radio head would be located. Basically what we have is a trunked fiber cable, in this case carrying 12 in discrete fibers, which can be connectorized either on the ground with mechanical field mount connectors or actually up on the tower in a very simple process. They can be hosted in this bank of fiber optic adapters. Generally speaking, duplex LC is the standard. And from that point, a jumper connection with two fibers can be taken out through these reusable uh, port plugs. So the port plugs can re be removed up on the tower and the actual seal for the, for the cable is accomplished with this ECAM port. And the ECAM port has got a rubberized grommet on it which provides a hermetic seal. So this is the 3M tower dome solution and it's secured with a lanyard. It has a uh, permanently mounted O-ring on the bottom and it has a closable bale which is permanently mounted to the uh, dome itself. In addition to this, we also have solutions for the tower to manage the power as well as the fiber optic cable coming up the tower. So in a situation where perhaps you have conduit that's running inside of a monopole, we have this solution which is our tower top enclosure which basically allows you to manage the fiber cables that come up with a fiber spool and you have entry and exit ports that mount directly to interduct type conduit fittings for moisture proof uh, environmentally secure connections. But this also features some very strong uh, strain relief and strength retention for the power cables. Now keep in mind that the power cables do not have uh, uh, low weight they're significantly high gauge. So what we provide is hooks for the Kellum griffs, which you hoist the cables up with, and then these hooks can each support 250 pounds individually. So the idea would be, this is a locus point for all of these cables to come out, and then you can go to the dome terminal for the actual access and drops to the, to the remote radio head itself. In addition, the 3M solution set also includes these universal general purpose mounting brackets, which are very rugged and suitable for the tower use. And notice how the dome mounts directly to the mounting bracket with its swing away arm. We also provide these mounting uh, buffers or clamps for the cables as they go down. And just to forestall some, uh, some incorrect practices in the industry, Stainless steel tie wraps are not the best method for securing fiber optic cable to the tower. The tower does tend to vibrate. So a solution like this with shock bumpers and actually grabbing, allowing some vertical play on the cables and yet not physically tying them to the tower assembly itself directly are much less invasive and much less prone to cause shearing or breakage of the fiber optic cable. So proceeding around the other side of the tower, we'll start with the remote radio head. Now the remote radio head connects to the multi-band or multi-service antenna via two or more half-inch uh, coaxial jumpers. 
Now these coaxial jumpers require weatherproofing solutions to uh, basically seal them out from moisture and that can cause PIM related type of uh, effects. So our new, our new solution in this area is our so-called small form factor closure, which we believe to be the smallest in the industry. It uh, basically can accommodate 7 16 inch DIN connectors on a 50 millimeter or 2 inch center to center spacing. That means that you can get two of these closures on two uh, adjacent RF connectors as long as you hold a, a 2 inch minimum center to center spacing. And so this is, uh, this is very eagerly anticipated in the industry and I'll show you a bit more on that in, in just a moment. But for solutions that still use the hardline coax, we also have solutions such as our uh, cold shrink tubing, which would allow you to get a, a weathertight seal with either silicone or EPDM rubber, no heat required, very simple to install. So we have solutions for the legacy hardline coax, as well as, as you can see, the fiber to the tower applications.